Like, I think I heard Candace Owens say that women are now the perverts in this society. You mean to tell me you saw a relationship between two sisters and you instantly thought about scissoring another woman? Is that is that really what we're doing here? What? What the fuck? Wow. But I guess we shouldn't be surprised. This is the very woman who fed other women to Harvey Weinstein. What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up on You know, it's 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 kind of funny to um roast these um magical negroes niggas. It's it's really funny to roast them. But at the same time, it's kind of embarrassing. I'm catching secondhand embarrassment as a black person because I've been clamoring for black people to get in Hollywood and make something unique and special and, and show the creative side of black people so that we can stop, like, you know, stealing shit from every other race. Like, the thing that I always say, if you go on Facebook, what you'll see is you'll always see these posts going around. They're going viral of, like, the black version of Dragon Ball characters or the black version of Naruto characters or the black versions of, of Marvel characters and this stuff. And I'm like, I always respond to that. I'm like, bro, you niggas cannot create your own shit. The only thing you know how to do is niggify everything. And so, you know, when, when, when it was, when it was learned that, you know, the, the American society of magical Negroes was going to be coming out, I was excited. I was, you know, excited at the opportunity to watch black people make something that's a lot different from complaining about white people and, 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 you know, making crime thrillers and all of this stuff. Well, again, time and time and again, I gave niggas too much credit. Uh, and, and this shit has been an absolute bloodbath at the box office. Uh, my God, uh, that movie only made $1 million this weekend. And here's a clip from a woman who decided to go and see this movie. Uh, <laughs> shockingly, <laughs> she's not black. Uh, here were her theater results. All right, here we are. There was something really deep and powerful. It's gonna be a competition to find a seat. Wow. Wow. Nobody, absolutely nobody went and saw this movie. One million, and, and listen, they're not reporting the uh, the budget, but I can tell you there's no possible way that this budget didn't at least get to $50 million. No possible way. But before we continue to get into it, guys, uh, we are currently sitting at 7,794 subscribers. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to help us reach 8,000 by Monday and 10,000 by the end of the year. By the way, follow us on Twitter. Well, follow me on Twitter. Um, because that's going to be the best way to get in touch with me considering the discord just went towards the patrons, uh, as we watch our favorite movies and TV shows together on the weekend. Okay. All right. So, I mean, let, let's get back into it, but there's one thing I wanted to point out, right? They only made a million dollars on a weekend. I, I wanted to point this out because I'm a big fan of this person. So y'all know Eric July. I just wanted to point this out. I just wanted to point this out. Earlier this week, Eric July put out his his newest Ripperverse campaign, Yara Number One, and already you can see four hundred and twenty one percent of its goal, almost thirteen hundred dollars. No, wait a goddamn minute. You mean to tell me, the Society of Magical Negroes, a Hollywood movie? that likely had a budget of at least $50 million. There's special effects in here. There are some, a, uh, not A-list actors, but on, when it comes to black Hollywood, there's some, there's some pretty, you know, uh, pricey actors in here. So this, you can't convince me that this movie didn't cost, at the very least, $50 million. Some people think it cost $100 million to make. But this cost at least a $50, $50 million price tag. That's what I'm going to go with for right now. Until shown otherwise, they only made a million dollars at the at the box office, guys. Only a million dollars. This is so bad. They might start going to get their checks back from them damn actors. God, damn. <laughs> they might start going to get their checks back. Mm -hmm. Like I would be like, hey yo, I need every actor. Y'all need to go on and send y'all check back. If I'm the producer, if I'm the studio head, oh yeah, I'm collecting. Yo, we we collect. No, we garnishing checks. Damn that. 
Oh, you went and bought a new Ferrari with the check we paid you? Yeah, go on and take it back, bro. We coming for that money. You mean to tell me I gave you a $50 million budget? Again, I'm assuming, because looking at the quality, you know, the picture quality and the, the special effects, the level of uh, uh, actors in this, I think this cost at least, you know what, let's go $25 million. Even if I said just $25 million, it took $25 million to make this movie. You only made me back a million? Oh my God. And we ain't even we ain't even factored in uh, uh uh marketing. Oh my God, I'm garnishing checks. God damn. Oh my God, guys. Yeah. The Ripperverse made more money. I'm sorry. The Ripperverse made more money in a week than a Hollywood movie. Shouts out to that boy Eric July. And that's a comic book. This is a movie. And you already know a shenanigans going on on Rotten Tomatoes. Watch this, right? 30% from the critics, 67% from the audience. Wait a minute, what? How does an audience, how does an audience that don't even exist rate this 67%? That's certified fresh. Well, put, put it like this. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. I'm just saying, because when you click on all audience, look where it drops down to. <laughs> so tell me, explain to me how, what is the difference between the verified audience and the all audience to where there's a 43% difference in what the verified audience thinks and the all audience thinks? Yeah, there's definitely some shenanigans going on here, guys. I don't know, but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later subscriptions for the latest tv shows and movies that you want to watch that's cool just watch it with me you know what i mean it'd be like watching it at my house except on a computer screen now the standard membership is going to allow you to get into the discord have access to the chat and you know we'll watch everything together pretty standard right the advanced membership is going to actually give you the ability to be able to come on mic and have discussion with us as we're having the discussion period for whatever it is that we're watching, right? You don't have to come on camera if you don't want to, but it's an option for you. Uh, additionally, you're gonna have direct input on the things that we watch. It could be some of the newest stuff. It could be old movies and shows that you wanna see my reaction to or you just wanna get my opinion on. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And uh, one final thing, for the people who have rocked out with me since the beginning, this is for you. If you're already in the Discord, you already in there for free, baby. So go ahead. Click on the link below, 